Uh, shifting gears a little bit, uh, I, I often am very interested at the general manager meetings in the National Hockey League to see what rule changes they discuss, because I know that at times they will come to you in the American Hockey League perhaps to test those rules. We've seen that with, you know, hybrid icing most recently. Um, the one that always at least seems to gain a lot of traction as of late is the shootout. The, the shootout for one reason or another may be losing its luster a little bit in the NHL. First of all, you know, what's your opinion on that? And if the NHL did decide to uh, maybe add an additional layer of overtime, three-on-three three that we've heard bannered about. Is that something that, you know, as the AHL, you would, you would get behind and support? Yeah, actually, the three-on-three three overtime, uh, I probably support more than a lot of the NHL GMs obviously do because they uh, don't seem to want to go in that direction. But uh, I actually think I would prefer a three-on-three three overtime to, to the shootout, uh, at least perhaps at least have some period of it before we get to a shootout. I also have all, often found it interesting that, you know, we – basically tested the shootout for the NHL, although it had been used in previous years and other leagues off and on. But, uh, you know, using the five-man shootout, we, we believe, is really a, a good way to do it. And when the NHL went, they went to a three-man shootout, which uh, I can't quite understand. Like, if you think it's a good thing, yeah. uh, then five shooters is certainly more fair than three. Um, the NHL, if you get one goal, it's usually pretty much over. But um, I still like our format. I suppose at some point we may have to do what the NHL is doing. But... If you like the shootout, five shooters is better. <laughs> uh, talk a little bit. Uh, you, you altered your all-star format this year. Um, you had uh, a crop of American Hockey League all-stars play the uh, team from Falstad, Sweden, in the Swedish Elite League uh, in a two-day event uh, up in St. John's. Just talk about the, the decision-making behind going that route, uh, the success behind it, and if it's something that you would consider uh, going forward with in the future. Yeah, I think, well, first of all, we looked at it being an Olympic year, and I, I've always had a, a bit of a dream of playing an international team with our All-Stars. And, and uh, as, a, as a true hockey purist, I still find All-Star games difficult. Uh, our fans love them, so I shouldn't, be, uh, I shouldn't think about it the way that I do. I'd be quite as cynical about them. But, uh, you know, hockey's a game that doesn't lend itself all that well to uh, non-contact. And, and when you see All-Star games, they're kind of a glorified skills competition, and ours has been very successful. But I really wanted to see if we couldn't turn it into a better game and, and uh, turn it into, a, a, you know, continue the celebration of our league and of our sport, but, gi but give it a little different flavor. And so we uh, spent about a year working on that project to, uh, to bring Freistad over, one of the top teams in the Swedish Elite League, and, uh, and it was a great success. We, we really enjoyed the, uh, the visit from them. Our skills competition was fantastic. Uh, the game was good. It wasn't as good as I would like it to be. We were too good for them. Um, our all-star team, almost every player had been playing in the NHL this year. Uh, Faryastad's team was not quite at the level that, um, you know, they would need to be to play that level of competition. Uh, but they were wonderful, a wonderful group of ambassadors for their league. The players had a wonderful time. They're, they were, they, they res represented their league very well. We went from there and went up and played the Toronto Marlies and had a good close game. And, and it was uh, great for the fans there in Toronto as well. So. I think on a scale of 10, it scored about a, an 8 or a 9 for us, and uh, probably scored a 10 for Faryastad. They really enjoyed it. So we're looking at trying to continue it. The timing is difficult because there's, you know, in an Olympic year, there's a break there for them and a break for us uh, where we can fit them in. But uh, we're talking to the Finnish Elite League as well now and, and talking to the Swedes, and we'd like to continue it in the future if we can. Uh, I would even consider going to a you know a club on club uh, uh, competition if if we can work that out where we bring a team over and tour through three or four cities. Uh, so I, I think the international element is, is is good. I think it's exciting for fans and I think it's exciting for our players as well to test themselves against the best players from other countries. Sticking with the the international theme and, and you mentioned the Olympic year and, and I don't know in four years if you'll still be president of the American Hockey League or not. I'm sure many of our fans hope you are, but. Uh, the question that, you know, begs the National Hockey League is will they send their players back to the next Olympics? And uh, some people have bannered that uh, if not the National Hockey Leaguers, maybe it's the American Hockey Leaguers that gets sent to the next Olympics. What, what are your thoughts on that? And uh, is that something that could be a realistic possibility down the line? Well, I think you've uh, hit the nail on the head. If it's, if it's not National Hockey League players, it very likely will be American Hockey League players, which uh, would not sit particularly well uh, with us because it impacts our competition, obviously. But, uh, you know, I would hope that the NHL continues to play in the Olympics. It's, uh, I think it's in Korea or wherever it is next time. Yeah. I think it's in Korea, which, <laughs> which may not be, uh, uh, in terms of the distance and the time zones, may not be a great fit for the NHL. And I think they had some challenges this year in Russia. So I, I th 
I, I don't have any inside information. I would say as a fan, I hope they go. Uh, I think the Olympic competition is fantastic. It's wonderful to see the best players from, uh, from the top hockey playing countries in the world playing against each other. Um, if they don't go, I would expect we'll be called upon by a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of those countries to provide players. And, uh, and certainly we'll end up, I'm sure, cooperating with that. But uh, what I do know, I don't know what's going on, but I won't be the president <laughs> in four years. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Lastly, before we let you go, I'd just like to get your thoughts on, on, on the state of the game of hockey here and, and, and its progression into these non-traditional markets like San Antonio and some of the other markets that you're currently in right now. Is the, the game appears to be really strong, and I think we're seeing it through a lot of the crowds. Do you get that sense as well when you travel around the different markets in the league? Well, there's no question here in Texas it's been great. And, you know, it was unfortunate that we lost our team in Houston, the Arrows, who had been there for so many years and been so successful and uh, I think helped to really helped to grow hockey in, in, in Texas. Um, but in San Antonio and up in Cedar Park uh, with the Texas Stars, uh, the, you know, the buildings have been full. The fan bases are, uh, are, are, are very rabid. They, they love the game. And I, I've been really impressed because I, when I first came to San Antonio, when the team first came here, you could see that people didn't really know the game or understand it. Um, and, and as I've come back year after year, it's a, it's a different crowd. Like they, they are into the game. They understand what's good. They understand what's bad. Uh, they know when they don't like a call by the referee. They, they you know, they understand the game, and uh, it, it's it's great to see the game grow and, and add passionate fans, no matter uh, where we are. And and uh, you know, this has been a, one of the best franchises in our league here in San Antonio, and certainly up at Cedar Park with the Texas Stars. They they've been very successful as well. So we're very thankful of uh, for the work that's been done and and, uh, and and the fan base that's been developed here. It's just uh, outstanding. Dave, I uh, really appreciate the time. Thanks for spending some time with our fans here as well on SARampage.com. Congratulations on 20 years, and, uh, and enjoy the next two months with the playoffs. Great. Thanks, Dan. That's Dave Andrews, president of the American Hockey League. For SARampage.com, I'm Dan Weiss.